Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to share with you what I feed my one-year-old so that hopefully you can get some easy toddler food ideas. So my daughter is 15 months old and I try to feed her breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a couple of snacks in between, sometimes more snacks than usual if we're out and about, you know, mom life. But I do try to make sure that each of her main meals contains a protein, a carb, and a fruit or vegetable, or sometimes both. I also try to do the same thing for all of her snacks, but sometimes that doesn't always happen, and it just ends up being one or two of those food groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of my cabinets and my fridge and my freezer today and show you all the things that I feed her to hopefully give you some ideas for like healthy things that you can feed your toddler very quick. Moms, you know how it is. You're doing a thousand and one things throughout the day and then all of a sudden you have a toddler screaming and crying at your legs and pulling at you and wanting food now. So I am a fan of fast and easy foods for my toddler, but that doesn't mean that I ever want to sacrifice in the healthy department. So this is her quick and easy drawer where I just grab things on the go. Um, I keep tons of these little fruit and veggie pouches on hand at all times, as well as some puffs, the rice cereal she doesn't eat anymore. I usually just keep that for finger painting. Um, but I keep these on hand because they're convenient. Sometimes I feel like she hasn't gotten enough vegetables throughout the day, so I'll grab one of these pouches, and I always make sure that it has vegetables in it. They sell the ones that just have fruit, but honestly, I don't waste my money because my toddler has no problem eating fruit. She loves fruit. So I make sure that it has vegetables, and sometimes it even has a grain in it as well, and that is super convenient to give her. As for the puffs, it's a good carb, whole grain option to give her. There's not too much sugar in them, so I do like to keep those on hand as well. Sometimes as part of a snack, I will give her some of these little crunchies. I almost feel like they're baby Cheetos. I keep different varieties on hand. That one's ranch, this one's cheddar. They also have a spinach, broccoli one that I like to buy sometimes, but she only gets like a small handful of them and that's it. I will also feed her some multi-grain crackers like as part of dinner or part of a snack. I always look for whole grain, but they never sell them. So multi-grain is the closest I can ever get. I love apricots, so sometimes she'll ask for some when she sees me eating them, but she likes those. And on rare occasions, she will get a pretzel or two um, when I'm eating them. Circus cookies are a very, very special treat. If she gets them, they're only ever like one and that's it. <laughs> so, but she does like those, so I have to keep them way in the back where she can't see them. She also likes goldfish, but I try not to give them to her too often because they're pretty salty. So I just reserve them as like a special treat that I break out if I'm out at the store and she starts getting kind of antsy. The bottom drawer in my fridge belongs to my toddler. This is her stuff. Nobody else eats anything out of here and she knows that. So anytime I open the fridge, she immediately tries to open the drawer. I always keep all of my dairy and like quick and easy fruits for her. So I always buy packages of these Stonyfield Yo Baby yogurts or sometimes I'll get the Yo Kids one that are all whole milk. I try to vary up the flavors that I get. I also keep applesauce on hand at all times for a quick and easy fruit. And I also recently started picking up these mixed fruit cups. I do try to make sure that they are the ones that are packed in fruit juice, not the syrup. Um, unfortunately, the ones that are packed in water usually contain artificial sweeteners, so I can't get those, but this is the next best substitute. And then also, I always try to get um, packages of cheese. Sometimes I'll do mozzarella, Colby Jack, or whatever. Sometimes she even likes the spicy stuff. So I just try to mix up what's in here, but it's always the same types of things. And then I also have some other fruits in the fridge as well. I've got some apples that sometimes I'll share with her. And then I also keep a bag of baby spinach that I can just throw into any food that I'm making for the night at a moment's notice. So we eat a lot of eggs for breakfast in this house. It's a very quick and easy source of protein. She especially likes it when I include cheese or some type of ham with it. Obviously the whole milk is for her. The only thing she gets to drink in this house is milk or water. We don't do juice, we don't do anything else. I also keep other fruits for her up here on the top shelf. Um, blueberries, only because every time she sees the blueberries, if they're in the bottom drawer, this is the only thing she'll pick every single time. So I have to keep them up on the shelf and only offer her to them at certain times or else they'll be gone instantly. She also likes bananas and this was a half full one left over from breakfast this morning. Speaking of bananas, I almost always have bananas on the counter at all times, as well as some other fresh fruit. I try my best to give her fresh fruit. So I picked up kiwis at the store the other day. Sometimes I'll buy peaches or mangoes or nectarines, whatever happens to be in season and on sale that week. And the last thing I wanna show you guys is what's in the freezer. You'll have to forgive all of the unhealthy stuff you see on some of the other shelves in there. Those are mine and my husband's, not my toddler's. But I'm gonna pull out everything from the freezer and show you what I have specifically for her at all times. 
Let's take a look. So the top shelf of my freezer is dedicated to nothing but vegetables. This is kind of my like reserve where I pull something out for dinner real quick. She loves green peas, so we always have some of those. And I always feel like mixed vegetables are a really easy way to go. So we keep a bag of those on hand, as well as some other things that she could eat in a, on a moment's notice, like these uh, cauliflower tots as opposed to regular tater tots. As far as some other grain options for breakfast, I will sometimes give her a multi-grain waffle. Again, I look for whole wheat, but I can never seem to find them, so I always get the multi-grain kind. And they are especially good topped with peanut butter, so that's a really easy protein source for her. I never give her syrup. I don't want her to know the joy that is syrup until she's much older, and she doesn't even know the difference, so she just eats them. And this is also where I keep my whole wheat bread, uh, just so that it stays fresh. We never go through a whole uh, loaf of bread ever fast enough before it goes bad, so we keep it in the freezer, and I just pull out one slice at a time and throw it in the toaster whenever we're ready for it, or I let it sit out at room temperature for a few minutes if I want soft bread. What's not in here right now is sometimes I will also keep uh, little pancakes that you can just heat up for a second. I have experimented with the ones that I make myself and the ones that you can buy. They're both delicious. So this is her shelf. Like I said, never mind the unhealthy stuff. This is her shelf and I have lots of things in Ziploc bags. This is what I'm gonna pull out. These are things I've made for her. I'm also gonna try these chicken nuggets pretty soon. Um, I just bought these. I, she has trouble eating protein. She doesn't really like meat. So I'm hoping to maybe get her to eat chicken nuggets. She's never really had them before and I wanted to find a healthier option. So we're gonna try those. I also keep stuff for smoothies on hand at all times. She loves smoothies and it's a really easy way to get vegetables into her. So here's some more frozen cut up spinach. I just throw a handful of that in with all the fruit. She doesn't even know the difference and she loves it. So let's take a look at what's in all of these bags. All right, so some of the bags are getting a little bit empty and I have to make more of them. So you'll have to forgive me for that. But we do have some pesto, turkey, and veggie meatballs. This is one of the meats that I've been working on trying to get her to eat and she's coming around to it finally. So they're slowly disappearing, but these are delicious. They have pesto in them, tons, I think like three or four different types of vegetables and she eats them with no problem because they're super soft. I also made for her the other day some cheesy broccoli bites. So this is literally just like Parmesan cheese, broccoli, eggs, and I think salt. They're like the simplest things to make on earth and she loves them. They're a good alternative to those cheesy tater tot broccoli things that you can buy in the grocery store that are really greasy. They're good, but they're greasy. We also have some ham and cheese and spinach mini corn muffins. Um, we're on our last one here. I like these because again, it's an easy way to get some protein into her as well as some vegetables. And I mean, what toddler doesn't like muffins? So there's those. I also tried out some zucchini and carrot mini muffins. These taste like little miniature carrot cakes, but they have a ton of zucchini and carrot. Like half of the batter is vegetables, and she loves these. The only downside is that they're sweetened with maple syrup, which is better than regular white sugar, but they are very sweet in my opinion. So I tried making a second batch where I substituted applesauce for the maple syrup, and honestly, I think that they don't taste sweet at all, so I just, I label these as unsweet. They taste more savory to me, so I think I'm gonna start giving these to her with dinner, kind of like a little savory vegetable dinner roll toddler size, basically. There's a couple of other frozen, like little mini muffin type things that I've made for her in the past. Some, I, offhand I can think of some um, applesauce and cinnamon spinach mini muffins. She loved those, as well as some turkey and spinach meatballs that didn't have pesto or anything in them. But we have since run out of those and I'm probably going to make more of those at some point pretty soon because I do try to like rotate what I have in the freezer. So these things that you guys just saw aren't always in there. I try to keep different types of muffins and different types of meatballs, but it's always like the same categories of food and they all have vegetables in them. So other than the things you guys just saw, uh, my toddler basically eats whatever we eat for dinner. So last night we had beef stroganoff. I gave her some of that with a little bit of fruit on the side and we called it a night. So that's what I feed my one-year-old. If you guys have any questions about portion sizes or recipes or things like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you liked today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.